is going on, Puff Puff Bassers? You already know. Baboon here. Baboon is, uh, man, it's been so nice out. Baboon out here, just got another one. A little chuppy chuppy chup 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 chuppy chup chup chuppy chuppy chup. Just a little guy, not even a pounder. So I don't know if Sam's around here somewhere. Or that mule. A baboon here for Puff Puff Bass. So Sam and I, or that mule and baboon, are out here uh, at the honey hole. Dude, there's a there's huge crappie in here. Look at this thing, dude. That's a big crappie. A nice big crappie. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? Baboon just made it to the destination. This is the farm pond that you've seen in many of my edits. Uh, 1.88 on the scale, which is a nice size fish for this pond. Um, happy with it. So we're gonna go ahead and get it back in the water here. I've had it out for long enough, um, but nice, nice fat fish. That's a two and a half pounder right there. That's as big as they get in this. This is probably one of the biggest bass, if not the biggest bass in here. So that's exciting. It's a nice fish. It's a nice fish. We're gonna let it go now. I'm gonna give you a better look at it. That's a fat bass. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, as big as they come in this farm pond. So we're gonna go ahead and let this one go back in here. And there it goes. What's going on guys, baboon here, got another one. This one's not quite as big, maybe about a pound, but still a nice fish, so we're gonna get him back in the water here. All right, here we go. Don't know if the microphone is working or not. It says I have three hours and eight minutes worth of battery life. I stopped at the gas station today on the way in, and I got myself a uh, raspberry twisted tea. Typically, I'm a strictly a beer drinker for the most part. Unless I go out with some buddies, then I'll take some shots of uh, Crown, Fireball, maybe drink a uh, Coke and Ginger or a Crown and Ginger. But today, the Twisted Tea was calling my name. So it's a little tough to figure out what, what I'm seeing here. I should angle it a little bit more down. Feels pretty nice. Try to get it on camera here for you. That's a nice one. For this pond, it's a nice fish. Um, yeah, pound and a quarter, I'd say. Nice fish, though. Um, nice, healthy, largemouth there. So, uh, this one. I don't know. Um, we're going to name this one Frankie Lindor. Only reason I say that was because on the way over here, I got a notification on my phone. Indians are playing the uh, Oakland A's. And Frankie Lindor hit a solo home run to tie the game. It is. All right, cool. Nope. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. Oh, he's a jumper. Woo! That's a nice one. Well, I was trying to stop him from flopping. Um, that's about the same size as the other one, but that's good because uh, I think these fish are growing in here because last year they weren't quite this big. Like, just jerk it. Like, there it is. That was nice. Hopefully I got that on camera. Littler guy, that's awesome. I need to start fishing more topwater. That's good stuff, man. Except for these treble hooks, really get them. All right, this is a take two of the baboon topwater blow up show. Ooh, that's a good spot. Let's see what happens over there. There it is. I knew that was a good spot. Just a little one. Huh? 
not bad. Not as little as I thought. This one's hooked much better as far as for its safety or its health. Something it, there he is. Another pretty nice fish. That's the one I was after. Second try or something. Try again, because I was after this guy for a little while there. It was a nice little battle of will. He went after it, missed it, went after it, missed it. But we kept at him. There's one. Little guy. What is going on, Puff Puff Bass Nation? It's your boy, Baboon, here, you already know. When I was out there last year, there was a small boat that had been abandoned at this pond. Spoke with the homeowner, he said it'd be cool if I uh, grabbed it, brought it home, cleaned it up, brought it back and used it in that pond. And he said there is a chance that I could maybe buy it from him or just probably give him a case of beer. I'm a very good bad boy. Because it's old, it's small, I don't even know if it'll support me, but we're gonna go find out. Hey Boone, out of shape here for Puff Puff Bass, you already know. So here's the ordeal. Told you I was coming to get a boat, right? Came out here, wasn't where it was before. Uh, I was out here about a month ago and it was in the perfect spot. It was over right where I could pretty much pull my truck up, pull it out and get it out. And here's the boat. I'll tell you right now, it's seen better days, um, but I think it will still float. This might get interesting, but we're gonna try it because I'm not a, not a quitter. So let's go for it. All right, Puff Puff. So here's what happened. Boat used to be over like there, beep, 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 like right around there on the shoreline, which is where you pull in at. Easy, right? To get it right out. Simple. Well, when I got here today, like I said, boat was nowhere to be found. Guy was out here mowing all this grass and his big old John Deere, and I said, I'm looking for the boat. And he said, It's in the corner back here. So it was all the way back in that corner. And Baboon took this big ass log, pushed his way out. Here's the little boat right there. So now all I have to do is drag it up the hill to the truck, somehow load it in there. It's actually a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Load it in there and uh, take it home, spray it down, wipe it down, clean it up. And I'm gonna bring it back out here and then I'll use it to fish this pond. So that's the idea. I'm gonna go load it up now. Stay tuned. So there it is. And now someone's driving back here, so let's see what they want. Alright, all you puff puff bassers. So I got home, unloaded the boat. There she is. <laughs> Quite the boat, huh? Alright, puff puff bassers. Baboon here. Just got out to the pond, made about three or four casts. Uh, caught my first fish of the night. Uh, little guy, not even quite a pound. Um, but like I said, I got him off of a few casts, so that's all right. What's going on, guys? Baboon, we're back. Uh, got one fish on the night so far. Just switched up my Senko. I put on a green pumpkin chartreuse tip, Gary Green tip, go to um, for largemouth, in my opinion. Uh, first cast with that one, I caught this one. A little bit bigger than the first one, I'd say about a pound. Um, so this one we're going to name Tyron Liu, uh, head coach of the Cavs. Cavs play the Golden State Warriors tonight in the first game of the 2017 ship. All right, guys, baboon. I'm getting really tired. Uh, I got, I don't know, five. That's it. Got him on the top water. So that was fun. All right, guys, so I'm pretty pumped. I'm a little bummed. My GoPro ran out of uh, memory card. So it died, and as soon as it did, I caught the nicest one I've ever caught in here. Um, this one is more what I'm looking for in here. 
Alright uh, guys, Baboon here with Puff Puff Bass Fishing. You already know. Um, so I'm out here, uh, been out here for about an hour now. Um, this is my third largemouth of the night. Not too shabby. Hi uh, Puff Puff Bassers, you know already know Baboon here. Um, I got, I think this is my fifth fish tonight. This one's about three quarters of a pound. But I'm having a great time because I don't typically throw top water. Why? Good question. It's something I really need to get into because it's very effective, and I'm learning that tonight. This is my second fish on top water so far tonight. I'm not too big, but man, is it fun when they blow up like that? Oh, you can't beat it. So, um, this one I'm just gonna name it Top Water because, like I said, I don't fish top water much. I am tonight. All right, guys. So this is what I'm throwing right now, top water wise. Um, like I said, it's a live target. It's not a soft body, it's, it's a frog, but it's a hard body frog. Um, I have, really, I think this is the only hard body one I have. It came from a Lucky Tackle Box. Um, it's like a popper frog, though, because it has like that cup on the front. So when you pull it across the water, whoop, 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 boom, blow up. Baboon here for Puff Puff Bass. Oh, Edwin Encarnacion. Updates coming through the phone. Hits a solo home run. Takes a... Uh, 3 nothing lead over the Astros, or the Oakland Athletics, sorry. So anyway, here come some more bikers. They don't announce themselves. They're supposed to say left, on your left. All right, Tiff, there it is. A nice little largemouth, huh? Nice. All right, so you don't fish with me a ton, but here's what we do with a Puff Puff Bass. Before we release it, we have to give it a name. So what are we going to name this fish? I'm going to name him Carlos. Carlos? Yes. Like Carlos Consuelos or just Carlos? Carlos Consuelos. Oh, Carlos Consuelos. <laughs> nice. Solid. Yeah. Little quarter pounder. All right, so Tiff just put this on. She found it herself in my tackle bag. And she said, I want to try this. Try to get it in the sun here. It's a little black and purple ribbon tail. Tiffany caught a fish on a little ribbon tail worm. Uh, I just decided to start throwing this black and blue little like jig um, just to see and I, uh, I caught my first one so uh, he hit it pretty hard I thought he was a little bit bigger at first but he's probably only about a pound um, but yeah not a bad fish not too shabby so this one's dedicated to all those vets out there it is Memorial Day so we got to uh, name this one Liberty. It's a good name for her, huh? All right, like I said, first fish of the night, about a pound. Still a nice fish. Named it Liberty for all the vets for Memorial Day, so we're gonna let Liberty go now. This pond's really high right now. It's tough to get a good release, but there she goes. Puff, puff, bass. 